we did this before. Sure. Do you know what to do? Uh, yes. Okay. So we did a video with Cam, we did one with Savannah, and then we got to meet Kendall. Okay. So what's your name? Kendall. Kendall. How old are you? Nine. Nine and what? You usually say like nine and a half, nine and three quarters. What are you now? Uh, right now I'm just nine. <laughs> oh, so just nine. That's fine. Oh, I'm in third grade. You're in third grade. So schooling our third grader. Oh, we'll be graduating this June. So what are Kendall's hobbies? Eating, cooking, video games. Is eating a hobby? It can be for me. Okay. Anyway, mostly Zuba. Zuba. Sometimes the PlayStation. So we got PlayStation, eating, cooking. You like to cook? Yes. What are your favorite meals? It's spaghetti mixed with Italian sausage and kale. Kendall's all-time favorite meal, sausage and kale. What else do you like doing? I like to play with Cameron and Savannah. You guys do a lot of bike riding. Uh-huh. You're pretty good with tricks on your bike. Uh-huh. Yeah. What are you enjoying learning lately? Are you learning lately? Yes. Oh, okay. So what's your favorite subject? What do you like to learn about the most? Art. Language art? Art? Another one of my hobbies is making video games. They have an app. Coding. Yes. It lets them. It's a beginning app for coding. So they get to create their own. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's called Scratch Junior. So our plan for Kendall is to have him... Coding, cooking, gardening. So coding. So they've been playing this uh, Scratch Junior for some months now, and that's really got their attention. They really like it. So we're trying to find other apps or resources that can help them get into coding um, so they can find out more about how that works, computer programming, um, because it seems to be a, a big interest of his. Gardening. What kind of stuff do we get to plant? What kind of seeds? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Carrots. carrots lettuce. Lettuce. Mm. Squash. Squash and cucumbers. So this is going to be, you know, our, our family project for the spring and throughout the summer is to uh, is to garden. We, we did this a couple years ago, so we're trying this again. Kendall reads a lot. Uh, he's usually the last one, at least of all the kids, to go to sleep in their room by 8, 8.30, but he's in there just up until about 11, 11.30. They have bunk beds, so once his brother falls asleep, he usually reads. And he's been doing this for a couple years now. Once I've run my quiet reading time, 11.30, to one o'clock. Mm -hmm. Remember yeah. Yes, so he's he reads a lot of books during that during that time, um, and he reads through his Bible during that time. Now, Kendall knows a lot of uh, a lot of scripture. He, so we're gonna do um, a more in depth Bible study with him. What do you like about Bible? I don't know. I just like to read it. What are your favorite stories? Mostly Esther. We're going to be doing some other stuff with Bible. So what kind of history is that? Ancient history. Ancient history. So we're going to be doing some more in-depth Bible studies with you. We're also going to be doing more cooking, letting you really get in the kitchen and really learn, you know, graduate Yay. beyond hot dogs and boiled eggs. Yay. How's that sound? Yes. Okay. Is there anything you would like to learn how to cook? Any type of food? Like would be Italian, Mexican. Chinese. Chinese, Chinese, Rest, Chinese food. Broccoli, pork, beef. Mm. And then we can learn how those nutrients and how all that stuff affects your body, right? Mm -hmm. There's this game we're gonna be coding, and it had and it has foods, and each has a different kind of special weapon and a different kind of special ability. Yeah. And so we have to research if they have. It, what type of vitamins some of the characters have. So they've started this from scratch. They have this idea and they research, hey, okay, what kind of game we like to play? What type of environment would we like to have them in? What type of battle? What are the characters? So they decided that the characters were going to be... Foods. Foods. Different foods. So there's a broccoli character. There's an asparagus character. There's and rice. Rice. And there they had to come up with a special power that they have or fighting ability. And so they really... Mac and cheese, so they really, it's, it's impressive, you know, tied into art, tied into their, their cooking class. Really, Serena's just been showing me how all the different things you can learn from, yeah, or how everything ties together. So in cooking, we were doing, we were baking the other day, and we were working with the measurements, right? Mm -hmm. We're letting them do the cup, you know, the third, the two-thirds, and, you know, all these different things. Are you having fun? Mm-hmm. So school was fun. Mm hmm What about books? Are you reading any interesting books lately? Uh, mostly the Mac and Cheese. 
Magic Treehouse. You've read a lot of those books. Yep. What else? Have you read any other books outside of Magic Treehouse? Magic Scrolls. Hidden Scrolls. Did you like that series? Yes. Dragons in a Bag. Which? Crenshaw. Crenshaw. What's Crenshaw about? Um, it's about a boy. I think his name was Jack, and he had an imaginary cat. What's your favorite book you've read so far? The best book? I have no idea. I'm not even sure if I have a favorite book. Okay. Well, it's been good talking to you. This was pretty different, me and you sitting down doing the video by ourselves with no one else. You had a good time? Mm hmm So, that's it. And life is full of lessons, so... We live and we learn. Got it. Here we go.